Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> Libra, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Let's just get right into it, Libra. So I was channeling you, pulling your energy in, and I was shuffling the cards for a little bit, trying to get a little bit of a pre-shuffle here for you, and nothing was coming out. And I was like, you, you feeling kind of coy there, Libra, not really wanting to talk? And then all of a sudden, it hit me. The Five of Cups. Okay. So, um, ooh, okay. Uh, before I lose this, I did just hear wrongful endangerment. I don't know um, that... I don't know if some of you are dealing with some sort of court case or the legal system or something like that. Um, that was something that I just heard. All right. But before, when I was channeling, I was hearing, you know, regret, loss, shame, guilt, remorse. Um, and I, I heard a term that now I, that has now escaped me. But. Um, oh, fear mongering. I heard fear mongering. I was like, well, that's interesting. But then what came through was fear mongering led to some sort of loss for you somehow for some of you or whatnot, whatever. And thus you are in a kind of a five of cups state. Um, I need to open my window a little bit because I lit some sage and it is super smoky in here right now. So hold on a second. But um, so there, you, you 
there was some sort of fear mongering that happened that caused some sort of fallout, some sort of missed opportunity, something to get lost, something like that. Um, but here's the thing about it, Libra. All is not lost, all right? Because also what I was getting from that was this was a lesson for you, okay? Um, in terms of how to manifest better, maybe. Um, and then as I was thinking that, these two cards caught my attention, so I took them, Ten of Swords and the Magician, all right? So whatever you're dealing with here, it's going to work out for the best, okay? The worst is behind you. And ultimately, with this Ten of Swords here, the Ten being a completion, you have learned a valuable lesson in how to manifest better. Or you're in the process of learning it, or you have the opportunity to learn it here, all right? Five of Wands, okay, you're still in the conflicting energy. This is a lot of internal conflict, but it's also external conflict, especially in terms of whomever or whatever this fear-mongering was that helped, like, helped things go south, okay? And I, yes, I'm putting that in air quotes, go south in terms of, well, it might have, it may not have turned out the way you wanted, but... All is not lost. I just heard a very valuable lesson has been gained here for you in terms of whatever this is, okay? So that, that was the Knight of Cups. Um, but I'm not feeling that. I mean, maybe your heart is open a little bit more, but maybe you have a better idea of what you desire. Okay, Ten of Wands, Two of Wands. All right, so there are burdens in the way that are keeping you from making some sort of decision. Knight of Wands now. It's time to be free, clear of that. It's time to be clear on what it is you truly want, Libra. And to go for it with gusto. Not let anybody hold you back. Not let anybody tell you you're wrong or incapable of achieving it. There's that free fear-mongering. Mm-hmm. All right. So with that said, let's just reset here. And then we're going to get into it for you. All right. For my Libras, here we go. Um, yeah. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our month of October 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, before I start shuffling, I am going to go close my window. I'm going to go close my window because it's kind of noisy out there. And it's not so smoky in here anymore, so, <laughs> so it's better. Okay, now we're going to shuffle. I'm going to give this five shuffles here. And then we'll see what we've got for you, Libra, for the month of October 2019. For my Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of October... 2019. This is three, four, for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019, and five. Overall energy for you, Libra. We've got the Eight of Wands. Okay, that's pretty beautiful. Um, clear, honest, and concise communication. I feel like, especially in terms of what we were discussing in the pre-shuffle, I really feel like there is a valuable lesson that has been learned that has kind of opened your eyes to something or has the potential to help you see something clearer or better. Um, and that is helping to clear the space, clear the air for you to make a decision and or to start moving in a certain direction, to start take, take to, blah, 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 to start taking action, okay? Yes, underneath that you have the, oof, the Nine of Swords, okay? And then you have the Strength card, all right, with 
the Hermit. Your mind has the potential to get the better of you here, Libra. You've got to keep your thoughts and feelings and emotions in check between the Nine of Swords and Strength, okay? Your mind really does have the potential to really get the better of you right now, um, and you need to keep that in check, okay? And I feel like for some of you, you've been needed to keep that in check for some time. It could be, you know, the, the fear that you have here, or maybe the fear, monger, the fear mongering that you were experiencing, whether that was actually happening um, externally during the moment, or if it was just from learned behavior that was just coming from the internal reality. Either way, the fear is what's keeping you, holding you down. And for some of you, I feel like you need to be going in your own direction. That's what the hermit is saying here. Now, you may not have been able to understand that until now, like maybe whatever whatever transpired that the five of cups was talking about maybe that helped you identify a little better what it is you truly want but i still feel like you need to be going in your own direction here and not be afraid of what the naysayers say not be afraid of what people say screw them i mean it's not their life it's yours right you get to create your own reality libra don't let anybody take that away from you Okay, let's get into the rest of the reading here. We're gonna do first half, second half of the reading. First half, you could, you could look at this as first half, second half of your month, but time is an illusion, energies are fluid. Anyway, take it as it resonates for you, yes? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Libra, you have excellent, the fool, embarking on a brand new journey, taking a new direction in life, going on a new path. I, I, I do feel like maybe whatever you've experienced so far, um, may have been really heartbreaking, maybe have been really heart-wrenching, may have led to a really emotional period, but ultimately it's setting you up for a brand new adventure, okay? I'm hearing that you can see things clearer than you have before, which is excellent. A whole new insight is definitely what you could need here, okay? The Fool is coupled with, yep, death, transformation. You are transforming, beautiful. Oh my God, beautiful. Sorry, I'm, my lips are a little chapped. <laughs> okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Libra. Ah, you know, that's funny because I kept hearing an unrequited love relationship. Here it is, Four of Cups. Missed opportunity, whatnot, whatever, okay. Yeah, sure, all right. Boredom. But also this could be the missed, it doesn't have to be unrequited love. It doesn't have to be love at all. It could be anything that you seem to, um, again, you perceive to have missed the opportunity here. And yet it's teaching you something. So it's not really a missed opportunity after all. Now also in terms, some of you might be having trouble accepting this, dealing with the fact that this actually was just a stepping stone towards greater value for you. That's what I just heard. A stepping stone towards moving closer to what it is you truly desire or, or knowing what it is you truly desire or having what it is you truly desire. And yet some of you are kind of sulking here being like, no, I don't want to take this. I don't want to take it. But the spirit is like, no, look, you need this. This is going to help you. Okay. Four of cups is coupled with the page of cups, the dreamer energy. Maybe, maybe a reconciliation, okay, you know, the, the Page of Cups can be seen as a, um, as an apology, potentially, but also, I mean, look, this kind of looks like the cup that's being handed out, out of that cloud by the universe here. You taking that cup and looking at, looking at what's in it and seeing the value in it because there is value in that, okay? I'm hearing you just gotta let go and trust. Okay, your challenge in the first half of your reading here. Ascension, rising above, resurrection, redemption, phoenix from the ashes risen, if you will, that's judgment. Okay. Um, for some of you, what you what is lost 
that was represented by the Five of Cups was, and I'm hearing this is specifically for some of you in unrequited love situation, it was toxic. And you needed to let that go. The Five of Cups, as readers, a lot of us say that whatever was in those three cups that have spilled, that shit was not good for you. But all is not lost because you still have two cups standing behind you. That's the healthy stuff. That's the stuff you want to keep. That's the stuff you want to invest in, that you want to look at. It doesn't mean that you, 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 you're, not, you're not entitled to your, to your period of mourning. Sure, okay, fine, do that. But don't wallow in it. Don't get stuck in it because there is a reason why this happened. Redemption is at hand. But the challenge in, uh, currently in this part of the reading here, the challenge for you is rising above that, seeing the blessing in this and changing, transforming, starting something new, starting a new cycle. That's what you're, fa you're facing a new cycle right now. But you're needing to go through that transformation. And that's what judgment here is representing, is influencing, is catalyzing. All right? Judgment is coupled with, yeah, the wheel of fortune. That's definitely a completion. It could also, it could be a karmic completion. For some of you, especially if we're talking an uh, unrequited love situation that was super, super toxic, there might have been some karmic energy that you were trying, that you had been holding on to, that that, influ that relationship influenced you into breaking free from. Stepping off the karmic hamster wheel, if you will. Changing your fate by rising above, like reaching, by reaching a new level, by raising your vibration, by ascending a little bit more, by expanding your awareness a little bit more, by transforming. That's great, Libra. But you gotta take this opportunity while you still can. Not to say that you're never gonna have the opportunity again, but do you really wanna have to experience whatever this is over again in order, like, in order to actually do this, or do you just wanna get it done? And be done with it and move on so that you clear out that space so that better can occupy it, right? It's up to you, it's your choice, really. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Libra. The Knight of Wands again. Torchbearer, light worker, having been illuminated, moving forward passionately. That's a good thing. Knight of Wands is coupled with there's the magician again. Yep. Moving forward, having been illuminated, knowing, knowing what it is you want or having a better idea of what it is you want or having a reignition of some sort of passion or having passion ignited anyway, which sets you off, sets you off to start manifesting something brand new. But in order to reach this newly illuminated state, you have to clear away all that dims your shine. The Hermit, which means you've got to take this opportunity in front of you. Will you? It's up to you, really. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Libra, first set of surrounding energies, you have the King of Swords. I'm seeing this as you, Libra. It could be an Aquarian, but... I'm seeing this as you, being objective, seeing something as it truly is. Sure, you might want to take some time to rummage through the evidence and hear all the, all the, all the different arguments and blah, blah, what not, whatever, but ultimately this is seeing something clearly, being fair and just and saying, all right, well, look, that's not going to help me or that's not really what I want or, wow, I see that lesson. Okay, great. Let's put it in its place. Let's do something with this. I like that. King of Swords is coupled with. <laughs> There's the Five of Cups again. This is good, Libra. I do see you taking some time to literally see the value in whatever you have lost here. When you're ready for it, obviously, but again, don't allow yourself to wallow in this Five of Cups energy for too long. It's not gonna, only, purely, purely for the fact that it's not gonna serve you. It just isn't. 
Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you have, ah, the Seven of Cups now. Okay, so are we weeding through the options? Has this circumstance here, represented by the Five of Cups, influenced you to start taking a deeper look at everything else around you? Say, wait, whoa, 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 hold on a second. If this showed up here, then what the hell else is floating around in there? Mm-hmm. You know who's your best friend in looking at that? That good old King of Swords. All right, it's time to clean house. That's what this feels like. Good on you. Seven of Cups is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. Starting new, starting over, that fresh beginning, rebuilding from the ground up. It's a good thing. Now, for those of you that are groping and griping, oh, I don't wanna have to start over. Think about it this way. You really aren't starting over. Yes, you may be building a new structure, but the build order or the, the, the construction of this new structure is heavily fortified by what you've experienced in the past. Again, you have got to work through seeing the blessing in disguise from whatever it is you have lost here or you have perceived to have lost. Yes? Mm -hmm. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, there's that five of wands again. The differing of opinion, too many cooks in the kitchen. Inner conflict also. I feel like Libra, you're gonna have some naysayers around you. You already have some naysayers around you for, for some of you who have already negatively influenced your situation. Are you gonna allow them to do that again? Have you learned your lesson here, Libra? I don't care who they are. I don't care if they're your mother because I'm, I'm picking, someone is saying that specifically, but, but, but like, it's my mom. I don't give a shit. Excuse my language, but I really don't give a shit. Toxic energy is toxic energy, no matter who it's coming from. So, okay, it doesn't have to be just your mother. It could be your father. It could be your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your, your, your grandmother, your grandfather, your boss, your best friend, your best friend that you have been bosom buddies with since you were five years old. I don't care. Toxic energy is toxic energy. Toxic input is toxic, is toxic input, regardless of who or what it comes from. Now, I'm not trying to say that this person is completely 100% toxic and you need to cut them out of your life, but something about their involvement here is not good, is detrimental to you, is holding you back, but also it's teaching you something. Five of Wands is coupled with the Eight of Pentacles. Have you learned your lesson? Are you going to put the work in? Regardless of what the naysayers say. All right, look, everything doesn't have to be a lesson. Okay, fine. But it sure can lead to your betterment and improvement. So what else would you call that other than a lesson, right? <laughs> Okay, fine. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Libra. Mmm, the Hierophant. You sure do have a lot of major arcana here, Libra. Right? Yeah, because you have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You have the Fool. You have Death. You have Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, the Magician. And now the Hierophant. And what does the Hierophant stand for? Teaching and learning. I mean, it also stands for structure, society, uh, religion, university, dogma, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But it also stands for teaching and learning. Have you learned your lesson? The Hierophant is coupled with the Three of Swords. Heartbreak sure does teach us. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks the big one. But it sure does have the potential to teach us, doesn't it? <clears throat> okay. So now, let's get your oracle guidance. From Zafaris. Yes? Yes. 
for the month of October 2019 for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle, they say. Okay. One more shuffle for Libra. Okie dokie. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, my God, Libra. Wow. Card number 45, which boils down to a nine. Okay. So that is a ending. All right. The ancient, elder, experience, lessons. Hmm. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's read it. Oh, wow, this is the last card in the deck. Wow. You have to excuse me, guys. I haven't used this deck in so long. Like, it's been over a year. The Ancient is so old, she is almost beyond time. She is able to speak the truth without compromise, as are you when this card comes to you. She is so old, she has experienced so much, learned and taught so many lessons, that she has become powerful and influential, just as you are becoming too. So too are you growing elder, coming into wisdom. She knows that while others are now going to come to you for advice and guidance, she sees your humanity, your faults and your flaws and your feelings of unworthiness. She wishes to reassure you, Others will come to you seeking knowledge, awaiting a blessing, an initiation, and oblivious to the consequences of the path they wish to walk. Wisdom, true wisdom, understands complexity, and you have developed this quality. The ancient is honorable and human, and yet more than human, and she is courageous and has made sacrifices, as have you. She sees straight through confronting, confronting, I'm sorry, she sees straight through com comforting illusions, as you do. She represents ancient tradition and the challenge of defining the self, yet remaining within a tradition that you value. And this, too, is one of your challenges. So take responsibility for your life. You will face the battle of choice, and you will be the antidote to gurus and dominant personalities who claim to have all the answers. The ancient recognizes the challenge of being a teacher. This immersion in a world to learn the ancient arts and ven venerate wisdom and old ways can be expressed in many forms, but everything you are now learning has value. She is the repository for ancient secrets and the contact between worlds. She is wise, and she has learned to consider every word that falls from her lips, even as she longs to call out for freedom. Wow, that couldn't be a, I mean, damn, that was great. So there you have it, Libra. This was a little bit of a rough message for your birthday season, but ultimately it's a good thing, yes? All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic month. I'm sending you so much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of November. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.